Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm in Maui. I flew to Maui yesterday. I'm already so into this place. It's got such a more chilled vibe. Like, I arrived. Oh my god, when I arrived. So, by the way, welcome to my crib. So, in Maui, the things you want to see and the things you want to do, they're all over the place. And the island is a bit bigger than Oahu. So, you probably will need a car. I pre-booked a car online i just paid for like a basic car it was a little bit more than i paid for the last one obviously and when i turned up it was quite busy maui airport was really busy obviously the car places are busy as well people were losing their minds over the fact that there was a queue and you had to wait i think i only waited like 20 minutes but people were being so rude like someone was actually hand gesturing to a customer service agent telling them to hurry up and the guy was just doing his job and he was being really friendly and really nice and helping the people that he was dealing with and I ended up seeing that guy so we were like laughing about the guy that was being rude and just before the guy gave me the contract he was like hey do you want an SUV and I was like yes yes i do want an SUV um he was like i really like your energy uh you seem to really get the aloha spirit yeah, and he really liked my English accent as well. So he just upgraded my car for free. Best, best start to marry I could have had. So nice. It's massive. And it's so comfortable. And today, I'm going to need it. So today, I'm driving the road to Hannah. It's one of the most dangerous roads in the world. So I'm slightly nervous, but people drive it every day. And the people I've asked about have said, yeah, you'll be fine. And there's so many beautiful things to see along the way. We're going to be seeing waterfalls. We're going to be seeing... Do you know what? I'm not going to tell you what we're going to be seeing. You're just going to have to come with me and find out. It's 7am. I'm going to hit the road now. We're in for a long day. Let's do this. So I've now stopped at the Garden of Eden, which is a big botanical garden along with various trees and wildlife and some epic lookout views. I've already experienced my first set of just moronic drivers is the only word I can use. So the road is really tight, it's really narrow, there's a lot of sharp hairpin bends, single lane bridges, it's like it's not a joke and so, so we st I stopped at a, um, a single lane bridge and all these idiot cars just came like rushing past me and there was a truck coming the other way so yeah, morons. So this is a rainbow eucalyptus tree. They are known as the painted gum tree because they look like they've been painted with this colouring. But I guarantee you, it's just 100% real. It's just where the tree strips its bark and over time it just comes back in different colours. It's so beautiful. is Kiapuka Rock. I'm probably saying that way wrong. Kiapuka? Kiapuka Rock. And this was actually the rock that was filmed in the original Jurassic Park. You know when the helicopter at the beginning flies in over the top? This is the view. More Jurassic Park fun today. <laughs> so I'm now stopping at really beautiful waterfall just on a bridge. Like, can we, like, this is the, I haven't filmed any of my driving because these roads are crazy, but I'm now walking on one, which is slightly terrifying, but also advised by my guide, um, which I'm gonna tell you about in a little while. But yeah, look at this. Oh, it was so beautiful absolutely stunning there was so much water as well which for the summer months is quite rare yeah so worth the treacherous <laughs> um road walk down so my guide for this trip i downloaded an app called gypsy this is not sponsored in any way so the app cost me 6.99 basically it 
it sort of logs on at the beginning of the route so you head to like a certain point and then it kicks in you don't need wi-fi you don't need data you don't need signal it has like an offline map and then along the way it chips in and he tells me things about the area what i'm driving past information and he like tells me when places to stop are coming up if it's worth stopping if it's not worth stopping where i can get food if things are going to cost me money it's really good and i really recommend it plus doing this trip solo i now feel like i've got you guys and a little road trip buddy as well looks like we're ready to go once you're on the tour commentary will play automatically as you drive through the audio point so I've come to the Nahikfu marketplace and there's loads of traditional Hawaiian stalls that are selling tacos and barbecue plates and there's a cafe with coffee, you definitely need one of those and there's also a guy with fresh coconuts so I'm going to grab some lunch. Are they to drink? Uh, you can drink those. Uh, they're, they're not ice cold or anything but uh, it's okay how much are they three dollars yeah i'll take one what's the straw made from the what the straw bamboo oh yeah. okay great thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ratio. They're massive. I'm gonna have to get one and take one home. Wine a pineapple. Nailed it. <laughs> that is the park that I'm in. I'm not saying that again. And this is the famous black sand beach. I'm so excited. I've never seen black sand before. Oh wow. Because in my head I think it's mud because it just looks dirty um, but it, it's not it's just black sand again um i kind of hit a car when i was coming out of that car park it was crazy like i was driving out and then somebody to my left i thought was just parked but apparently she wasn't and as we were like crawling to get out of the car park she starts like beeping and honking and like waving her arms at me and i was like all right sorry went to reverse to let her out reverse straight into a freaking car didn't i i didn't even see it i did not even see it uh, so yeah we had to stop and exchange information i don't even know what happens like two rental cars i don't know what happens i mean i have insurance always take out insurance on rental cars never skip it not even to try and save a little bit of money so yeah that happened whoops <laughs> i'm like i'm kind of chill about it and i'm like it's fine this is why you have car rental insurance but at the same time i'm now also like oh i really don't want to have to pay like i dented her number plate so yeah she was really sweet though and i was really apologetic um i, I literally just didn't see her ah why do things happen <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna let it get me down. It is what it is. I'll just have to deal with it when I take the car back. Oh wow. There's another beautiful waterfall. Oops. Last 
destination of the day. We're at Oweu Falls, no, Oweu Pools, or the Seven Sacred Pools as they're more commonly known. because one, it was so busy and I'm just over tourists today. And number two, God, I'm out of breath. <laughs> and um, yeah, also the rocks looked really slippy and I didn't really fancy falling in. Now I'm just gonna head my way back to the car and guess what? We have to drive all the way back. <laughs> so I left my accommodation at half past six this morning and I started the road at about half past seven. It took me about an hour to, no, it must have been before half seven. It took me about 40 minutes. So just after seven, I started. It's now pushing half four, five o'clock and I've only just finished. So I've gone past Hannah. I'm now here at the national park that I can't remember the name of. Um, yeah, and to get back, you can go further, like 45 minutes further on, but the road is so, so bad that rental car companies don't cover you for anything um, and it's really dangerous, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna turn around and I'm gonna head back. And it should take me about two or three hours, I think. 